How's it going everyone, this is Captain here, and today we'll be discussing about the latest news on Dr. Disrespect, the whole situation on why he was banned. Well, he is now being interviewed by PC Gamer, and he's discussed on why he was banned from Twitch and why they decided to ban him. Honestly, I do not know why they would ban him, but this interview with PC Gamer, right here, says that he's, that he's discussed it. Three weeks ago, Twitch banned the Dr. Dis Dr. Dis Guy Dr. Disrespect beam, one of the biggest streamers on the platform. The period of silence that has followed his ban from Dr. Disrespect, Twitch itself, who claimed to know the real reason why he was expelled. It really does suck that, because Twitch, they signed a contract with Dr. Disrespect weeks before, like, they banned him. So why put a contract on him? Why give him a really big contract and then ban him later? I mean, it doesn't make any sense. I don't know why Twitch would do that. Let's get to the interview. PC Gamer. It has also been three weeks since you were banned from Twitch. I imagine that must be very frustrating. I would love to start with just hearing what's been happening behind the scenes. Dr. Disrespect says that he a lot of stuff, obviously. You know, while it's unfortunate that I'm off Twitch, we're definitely working behind the scenes on what the doc what a doctor return might look like. In terms of specifics around that, we're not interested in exclusive at this point. We're exploring our options and honestly just can't wait to get back into character soon. We have a lot to do. So it's good news that he is going to be returned to something, but I don't suspect it will be Twitch. When you say you're not interested in exclusive, can you clarify that? Well, let's just say all the cards are on the table. He's more focused on just making sure whatever he can do next, whatever platform he'll move to, and his decision for the community and the Champions Club that follow him. And that makes sense of what I want to continue to accomplish with this character in terms of taking things to the next level. Whether it's streaming or outside of streaming, so it's just being consensuous to that decision. Okay, he's thinking of what he's going to do next for him, his, his community and his followers. Give that the connection that you have in your audience and how important that is. I'm sure you can appreciate that you're that there's a lot of being a lot of concern. Why didn't you give people an update or hi? Well, to be honest, so we got the news, you know, and I was just it was completely total shock. I would imagine that. He, like, we didn't see it, um, Dr. Disrespect was doing his Twitch stream, and then he just suddenly was saying, he just had a, a notification on his phone, and then he was banned. Saying, the notification saying he was banned, which, it would, it would, if I, if that happened to me, I would be in complete sense of shock and disbelief as well. The way I discovered it too, it was on the buddy stream, and some features started turning off while I was in just the chat and everything, and then all of a sudden... Social media was blowing up. I got the call with my team. And after one could call, it was all o email. It was all over. At that particular moment, it was more just kind of a shock. And both my wife and I were just like, what's going on? So that's how kind of initially how things kind of went down. And then from what you're sort of digesting it, you're still not getting answers. So that's kind of why I had. Yeah, I sort of see what he's getting now. Like, Dr. Disrespect is one of the biggest... Um, People, like people on Twitch, like with Ninja, Shroud, XQC, all, all, all the big Twitch streamers out there. Like he's one of the faces of Twitch, and just to have that ripped up, ripped from you is just, it's awful. Yeah, I mean, obviously, there's a lot of stuff that's in terms of thinking. Like, yeah, that's all going through your mind. For me, it was pretty tough to just, I had to get off social media. I mean, just to see all the speculations and theories. Things that my name have been surrounded with, and it was just really heartbreaking to see a certain extent because we worked so hard to get to the point, this point. But you know we're ready to go. We are excited to take the next steps, and I'm really focused on the community for now. We got lots of fun stuff planned, lots of projects that are in the works, and yeah, continue on. Okay, we are good, glad to see that Dr. Disrespect will make a return to social media soon. And Twitch just cut you off for contact. They never provide you with a reason. Twitch, even themselves, didn't tell Dr. Disrespect why he was banned. That's just awful. If I was banned from Twitch, I want to know the reason why I was banned. Like, if I'm just streaming normally, just a regular game, just like, do 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 I'm playing a game, playing a game, playing a game, say if I'm playing, um, say if I'm playing Minecraft. I'm just randomly playing Minecraft, just digging away the mine, for, to talk with Twitch chat, and then suddenly, I'm banned. 
I would want to know the reason why I was banned. And for someone like Dr. Disrespect to be banned for, for not, and not even being told what Twitch, by Twitch, what he has done, that's just not right. That seems crazy. The ban were the most important, famous, popular streamers, and they didn't even tell you what's wrong. Yeah, it's kind of mind-blowing. It is, obviously, for legal concern. I had to be careful, but I say, however, that I will not be returned to Twitch. So, Dr. Disrespect will not be returned to Twitch, and like I said earlier, after, like, a massive contract sign a few weeks ago. Sure, I'm not a famous streamer, but if I was a famous streamer and got banned for no reason, especially considering the Dr. Disrespect character and who he is, I think my response would be to get out on social media and shout from the rooftops. To be honest, I would be like that too. I would be all over Twitter, like, saying, like, I just got banned from Twitch. Not tw yeah, Twitch. What is going on, Twitch? Why have you done this to me? I've done nothing wrong. I would be that sort of person. But I gotta say, looking at what I'm reading here, Dr. Disrespect is saying that, uh, well, I mean, I'm trying to take the best and appropriate steps as possible, and they're behind the scenes in terms of legal standpoint, and so I don't want to go on social media and say the wrong thing or the, or the right thing, or whatever it is. Like, we've made our statement. Doc is actually being mature with this. Like you, like I said, like usually people will go on ballistic rants about um what's been what's going on, but he just like decided to like chill, like be calm and not rant about that. So that's a lot of respect there. A lot of respect. So I able to confirm that legal action is taking place. You were taking legal action. Yeah, that he's taken legal action. I would probably would do do the same. Like if I had if I had a contract with a company and they just shut me out, I would want to take legal action. When would you think you might be ever ever have a definite answer to the reason why you were banned? He doesn't know. Doctor Disrespect is a very controversial character, and I don't need to tell you that. I'm always baked into who he is as a person. Do you think Twitch singled you out? He, and Dr. Disrespect does not know. Okay, let's switch gears here a little bit. Let's talk about this reboot. What can you see you, like you're doing right now? You're going to have to tune in to find out. That's part of the fun. I think that's one of Doc things is doing these cool projects. Projects? Projects. And the big surprise elements that are involved. Whether it's directly through the stream or a combination of social media and the stream... But fans should expect a Doc 3 3.0 will launch a new cinematics focused on pushing the envelope. Just like I've tried since started streaming, and that's the focus. Alright, good to know that he's it's good that he's gonna get back out to streaming and a new Doctor Disrespect will be coming. Here, here's one here. Definitely there was one thing I want to talk about, the final moments of his last stream, when Doctor Disrespect suddenly changed character for the final few moments of his stream. Again, I've seen all types of theories, and it's gut-wrenching and disheartening. But in terms of a particular piece, I could speak directly to you. Like, it was just in a moment where I was so taken in what's going on on the world, you know? If people had context of that clip going into that, and then coming out like, all I was talking about was just the state of the world that we were dealing with, dealing with the protests and the... and COVID, and everything was, that was happening, just like, man, and then the particular moment, I was just kind of going through, you know, like, when can we break this funk? Oh my goodness. And, like, all this going on in the world, and then Dr. Disrespect gets banned, like, that's just more bad news. Is it pretty normal for you to break character like that during your streams? Yeah, I would say so. Whether it's a personal story with, like, it could be related to my daughter or sports or growing up, I sometimes will step out of the fictional world of the Doctor. So once you step out of the streaming studio, you just sort of flip a switch that suddenly doesn't matter to you anymore. To a certain degree, I think this is a different instance because, you know, you're talking about a career here. You're talking about financials. Yes, a lot of business and planning goes into these sorts of things. You're talking about, like, vision projects that are being put on temporary hold until we figure out the behind the scenes. And we're talking about potential legal action, just like, okay, you know. Okay, so hope for what I'm seeing, Twitch is not going to return to Twitch. Dr. Disrespect is not going to return to Twitch. He's probably going to go to Facebook gaming or YouTube gaming, like Ninja has since the since Mixer went to Facebook gaming. I've heard he's gone back to... heard Ninja's gone to Facebook YouTube gaming. <sighs> 
hopefully this legal action will take place, but it probably won't do much effect. Twitch has like an army of lawyers, so it could be, that could be in, down in like a long time before any proper action may take place. It's a real shame that the doctor left, I gotta say. Real shame the doctor, doctor was banned from Twitch, and Twitch still hasn't given us an answer on why he was banned. But, if, like, I've seen parts in the, in the past, like, of him, like, getting into some controversy, small controver controversies, but nothing too big. Everyone gets into controversy now and then. I'll probably get into controversy in the future if when my YouTube channel gets larger and grows more. I might get into controversy and I will have to deal with those problems myself. Everyone, nobody, nobody's perfect. Everyone has, will have controversy. But I am glad to know that the Dr. Disres Dr. Disrespect will come back to the pla to social media soon and I wish him all the best and luck. If you want to look at the interview, be sure to check out, the link will be in the description. And thank you again for everyone for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to share, share with your friends as well. And I shall see you all in whatever I make next. This is Gabson, signing off.